Hi, my name is Tammy Dress, and I'm a former member of the Pasco 49ers FFA chapter in Pasco, Washington. My name is Kylie, and I was in the Rochester FFA chapter. Hi, my name is George Dress. I'm this year's Washington FFA State Vice President, and I am a former member of the Kamiakan FFA chapter located in Kennewick, Washington. I'm Tanner Ruth, and I am a past state sentinel for Washington FFA. I started FFA in 2017, which was my freshman year, and my mom was the one who encouraged me to get involved. She did FFA in high school, and I just kind of wanted to follow in her footsteps. I joined FFA my freshman year, and the person that really helped me get involved the most was my mother. She had an amazing experience in FFA back when she was in high school, really grew herself as a person, so she really encouraged me to get involved my freshman year, and so I did, and it stuck, and I was there all four years, and I really enjoyed my experience. I chose to get involved in FFA because my older brother was a part of FFA, um, and he was showing pigs, and so I had the opportunity at the end of my eighth grade year to show my first pig, um, and then I joined FFA as a freshman in high school. Um, so it was kind of just like my brother's influence, but then also like my parents both had like ag in their background. So it was a pretty natural response. Um, I lived in the city though, so um, it was like a little bit different, but um, yeah, it was definitely the draw to show a, bit, a pig. Um, and then, yeah, it started off right after that fair, so. My ag advisor was Betty Miller and I have, I come from a family of agriculture and um, livestock, and I had several uncles that were involved in FFA, and at the time I had several upperclassmen that were really great kids that I just, it was a natural fit for me, as I had always been a 4-H member, and um, it was just, it was just the next step, so. For me, my biggest milestone in FFA has got to be winning the prepared public speaking contest at the state level and moving on to nationals. That was a huge accomplishment for me and my advisor and I worked really hard. So it was super exciting to finally achieve that win and move on to nationals. Once I got to nationals, I did end up placing in the top 16. So again, another really huge accomplishment that I'll always look back on. Probably state office. <laughs> yeah, I think that was something that I worked really hard for in um, I didn't know that I wanted to be a state officer the entire time I was in FFA. I think that, you know, there's some people who know from the very get-go, they like see their first commission and they're like, oh, okay, I want to be that. Um, that's not how it was for me. It was more of just kind of like the next step and okay, now I'm done, but like, how can I give back? And so I would say that that would be the biggest thing in my FFA journey. I did a lot of really great things in FFA, but that was my favorite and probably the biggest one. Our biggest milestone was um, accomplishing a winning state for our livestock judging. Um, it was an incredible time and we had worked really, really hard and it was so worth it that we, you know, had such an amazing ag teacher that spent the time and we traveled all over the place and those are definitely some of my fondest memories. Do everything, do everything possible, do all the competitions, do all the activities, it's worth it. My one piece of advice for any FFA member would be to get in involved and do the creed, whether you compete or not, learn it, do it in class. That was always required by our, F our ag teacher, Betty, and I can't believe how much that did for me personally, having the ability and getting over that fear of getting up in front of somebody and, and talking and um, that helps you throughout the rest of your life, with it, whether it's helping customers to, you know, whatever. I mean, it's just, I recommend everybody do the creed for sure. I would just say to like, take advantage of every opportunity that you have, um, especially if it's something that you're uncomfortable with, because FFA is a safe place where you get to try out new things. And it's gonna be a place where you're encouraged and you're given constructive feedback. Um, and so you're really pushed to grow within FFA. Um, so doing the things that you love to do is really great, but also do the things that you're not so sure about as well. If I could give one piece of advice to all FFA members, it would be to continue to work hard, even though sometimes it may be really tough. Sometimes you might've worked really hard for a contest, you go and compete and you didn't turn out as planned, but hey, that's okay. Hang in there, keep working hard, and success is gonna come your way. My SAE was raising and showing goats. I don't know that that was a technical name for it back then. Um, it's been over 30 years ago, 
But I raised steers um, and showed them at the fairs, uh, Othello and Pasco, or uh, Ben Franklin. And um, I also worked on my family farm. And I also worked at Ranch and Home um, at the farm store, at the local farm store. So I did quite a bit. My SAE was on um, raising market swine for the fair. In FFA, I actually had two different SAE projects. My first was showing steers and selling them at the county fair, and my second one was working at a farm store. I competed in the creed. It was, like I said, it was required by um, our ag teacher that uh, everybody, for our grade, we were graded, and so I really, um, I, I competed. I didn't make it to state. Um, it was uh, a challenge for me in the beginning, but it sure helped me in the long run. And they also competed in livestock judging. I competed in LDEs and CDEs. Um, I did livestock evaluation, um, agricultural mechanics, um, food science, extemporaneous speaking, um, job interview or employment skills, I think is what it's called. Um, I'm not sure. I think that was it. Potato evaluation, tractor driving. Well, actually I did a lot. <laughs> yeah. I did compete. I competed in job interview starting my sophomore year. I competed in a number of different contests in FFA. Creed speaking, extemp speaking, prepared speaking, a little bit of livestock judging, ag sales just a little bit, and job interview. My favorite memory was going to nationals with my FFA chapter. It was really fun. We did a lot of tours and events and just getting to walk around convention. My favorite memory of FFA, there's so, diff there's so many different ones uh, from going to state several times uh, with my chapter, just for the experience and working my way there, uh, going to nationals as well for receiving the national chapter award with my chapter. Those were all great experiences. It's really hard to choose just one because there were so many amazing times for me in FFA. So, um, you know, winning uh, state and going to nationals again and prepared was another amazing experience as well. So, so many great memories. It's really hard to choose. That is so hard. There's so many good memories. Um, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll share this one. Going to um, legislative visits was really fun for our team. Um, and we got to advocate for um, CTSOs for uh, the legislative visits. And I remember talking to, I think it was Representative Tom Dent, and he just started talking about like what he's passionate about and started talking about farmer suicide. And it was a topic that I hadn't really been exposed to very much. And it was just the way that he presented it shifted my knowledge and shifted um, my perspective. And I will never forget that meeting um, for the rest of my life. And it has inspired me to do different speeches and stuff on farmer suicide. Um, but that was a really pivotal conversation that we were able to have. That's an easy one. My favorite memory in FFA is just all of the travel with um, with Buddy, he took us everywhere, we, you name it, all across Washington, Idaho, Montana, back to Kansas City for the Nationals. It was just such a thrill and so many wonderful memories and those I will have with me for the rest of my life for sure.